yo yo what is going on guys globe here welcome back to another achievement guide for far cry classic today we're going to be doing carver style which requires you to complete the game in hard or realistic difficulty now the achievement itself is pretty self-explanatory beat the game on hard or realistic um, i'm just going to give you guys some tips and tell you what helped me get through the game on hard mode so first things first if you are going for this achievement do not play on realistic you're going to want to play on hard. That's the only way that it's even going to be mildly tolerable. So, uh, this game is ex it, it's extremely difficult, I'm not going to lie. At least for me it was. And there's a couple things I picked up along the way that I think helped out tremendously in being able to complete every mission. Luckily, the game is pretty forgiving on the checkpoints. You get them pretty frequently, so uh, that's that's the only upside here. But basically, there's a certain a number of things you're going to want to do uh, consistently. Number one is going to be your binoculars. I believe it on Xbox, it's left on the D-pad to pull them out. And you're going to be able to mark enemies that you otherwise probably wouldn't have been able to see. Um, the later you get in the game, the better this is going to be for you. Because as you can see on video now, I'm in a pretty wide open area. And all those enemies would be pretty hard to see otherwise. So make sure you're using your binoculars frequently, pull them out, see what's going on on the horizon, and just try to mark as many things as you can before you progress. That way you don't waste a bunch of time and uh, get killed and have to restart the checkpoint. Now there are a couple of missions early on that you can technically run through and not worry about the enemies so much and try to just get to that next checkpoint. The only problem with doing that is you, one of two things. You're either going to get the checkpoint and have no health, when you have the checkpoint, so every time you die and respawn at that checkpoint, you're going to have a little bit of health, which is not good. Or the ammo situation. Um, I was finding myself running out of ammo pretty frequently. So when you get to areas like this, when you're killing tons of enemies, even sniping them, whatever it is, um, and you do clear the enemy or the uh, the area out, make sure you're going and picking up some ammo and oh my goodness, ammo and exploring a little bit, trying to find some health and some body armor just to sort of restock because you don't want to get caught on a checkpoint with no ammo it's just not going to be very fun um, the sniper rifle is I would say it's the second best weapon you can use on this difficulty um, however you it's pretty hard to find ammo for it throughout the game but as you can see in this area there are a couple of towers around and those enemies that are usually on the towers have either sniper rifles or rocket launchers and for whatever reason they can see you for from a really far ways away so um, the further away you can stay, the better off you're going to be. Your accuracy is going to be dramatically better when you lay down. So if you can get a spot where you can lay down and take the shot, you're, it's going to be ten times easier to actually get the kill and not waste ammo. But the sniper rifle is going to be your best friend for taking down those big enemies on the towers, uh, especially the ones with the sniper and the rocket launcher that can kill you probably quicker than any other enemy uh, in the game besides the, the monsters or the triogens, I think is what they're called. So if you can get a sniper, pick it up and save it. Don't just kill any enemy with it. Save it for those tower enemies. Don't just start sniping everybody you see um, unless you know that you're going to get ammo out of it. The rocket launcher is also a very good item. However, it only comes usually with about four to eight bullets or rockets rather. And so it's not really that beneficial when you're taking out groups of enemies or not groups of enemies, uh, single enemies. It's great for helicopters as you can see here and it's also good for... Uh, those big monster things, the big triogens with the rockets on their arms. But you're going to want to save the rocket and the sniper rifle for the bigger enemies um, when you can get them. And don't be scared to, if you run out of ammo for either one, don't be scared to throw it down for another gun because eventually you are going to find another one. And this game is pretty scarce on ammo it seems like, so the more weapons you have the better chance you're going to have to get through each area. Now. The gun I'm using right here, um, I believe it's called like the AG. It's an assault rifle with a scope on it, basically. I really didn't like this gun at the beginning of the game, so I found myself not using it a whole lot. And then uh, came come later game when it was the only gun I could find, uh, I really grew to love it. For one, it kills enemies super fast. Um, especially if you uh, lay down or crouch, you get that better aim, and it kills enemies super quick. The scope is nice because it not only is a scope, but it zooms in a little bit extra, so you can start picking people off from a distance, which is going to be the way you're going to want to play this game on this difficulty. You're going to want to take it nice and slow, slowly kill every enemy, use your binoculars, make sure that you're marking everyone, 
Make sure there's no guys you missed. Use your headset if you're using one so you can kind of hear if there's any enemies around you. And just take it very slow because one enemy can kill you uh, if you don't have enough health. So you're going to want to just be patient. Use this gun like you see me using here and just start taking enemies out one by one. Be patient and eventually you're going to get that checkpoint and be able to move on. Now, with this gun particularly, you don't want to use it while you're walking. Um, the the accuracy is going to just bounce all over the place unless you're standing still. And same applies uh, if you lay down, you're going to get better accuracy. But if you try to shoot people while you're like walking with this gun, it's just not going to work out for you very well unless you get uh, surprised like I did right there. So just make sure you're standing still when you shoot it and just burst fire it. Just keep burst firing it and eventually the enemies will die. Headshots do the most damage obviously, but um, at this distance it's pretty hard to land a headshot. So I would just say aim center mass and just burst fire until you see the arrow disappear. There are a couple missions late game that are extremely unforgiving, and uh, I'm going to show one here in a second. But yeah, they're extremely unforgiving, and there's no way you're not going to die a bunch. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Um, hopefully you're better at this game than I am, but each area of the game basically you have to learn. You have to, you have to know where the enemies are, where the ammos are, where the healths are, where everything is basically to be able to... Uh, come up with a plan to get through the area. Um, the main things, like I said earlier in the video, are the binoculars and uh, using weapons effectively, not just wasting ammo. Like you see right here, I'm using the sniper rifle. I have to use every gun I have basically to take care of all these guys. I tried several times just to run past them and it's just, it's not going to happen. So you're going to want to be patient. You're going to want to kill them as quickly as you possibly can because there is a lot of them and they're all going to start rushing you. But yeah, this is probably one of the hardest parts in the game, if not the hardest, because you basically have to kill all those enemies to be able to progress. Um, if you try to run past it, you're just going to die every time. And one thing I forgot to mention is the night vision. Once you get to the point of the game where you unlock the night vision, um, it does have a battery on it, but the battery recharges. You're going to want to use that at every, every chance you get. On any mission that's not full daylight out, you're going to want to use that just to kind of it almost acts like the binoculars in a sense that you can see where enemies are and that's the most important thing is being able to see the enemies it especially helps when you're trying to fight the triagens in buildings or caves or wherever um, it lets you see them and there's even a triagen that goes invisible so the night vision is absolutely essential for that but other than that the game it's it's not the hardest game I ever beat by any means, but it's definitely unforgiving. It's definitely a tough one. And uh, I just wanted to try and give you guys some tips if you are attempting to beat this game on hard uh, to get the achievements that you can maybe do it just a tad bit easier and not uh, pull your hair out as much. So, yeah. So, I want to thank you guys all for watching. This will be the last Far Cry Classic achievement that I will, I will be doing. The next, next video for it will be... Uh, completed and then I'll be moving on to some other games so hopefully you stick around to see what's going on with those but I want to thank you all for watching uh, any of my Far Cry videos or just any of my videos in general I really appreciate it and I hope to see you guys in the next ones have a good one